Hi and welcome to our channel Accidental. So today we will learn about the various theories of dental caries. So let's get started. Dental caries is considered the most prevalent disease in humans. Second is the common cold. So now we can understand how much important it is to know about the dental caries for us. So to understand about dental caries, we will have to know about the theories. So let's check out the theories. Miller's chemicoparasitic theory or acidogenic theory. Microorganism secretes acid, this causes caries. Important factors in this study are A. Acid, C. Carbohydrate, P. Plug, Micro or M, that is microorganism. So there is a small mnemonic to remember the factors. Just think of a situation, you are in an exam hall and you have taken some cheats, that is micro Xerox with you. And the ACP catches you with it. Now ACP is a special post of the police, so in this way you can remember it easily. Now, according to miller carriers processes, it occurs in two steps. First is the decalcification of the enamel and the dentin. Second is the dissolution of softened residue of the enamel and dentin. Now, the role of carbohydrate teeth decalcified when incubated in saliva and bread or sugar mixture and showed no change when incubated with fat. So, by this we can understand the effects of carbohydrate. Next, the role of microorganism. The most prevalent microorganism in which dental caries occurs are Streptococcus. But there are also other bacteria like Actinomyces and Lactobacillus. He believed that some bacteria initiates the process and other progresses the process. Next, the role of acids. He found that there was a synergistic action between the microorganism and the acid. That is, microorganism secretes acid and acid dissolves the organic portion of the tooth. Next, the role of plug. The pH of the plug was 7.1 in non caseous individual but was 5.5 or below in the caseous individual. This 5.5 is also known as the critical pH. Next is the proteolytic theory. To understand this theory, we should know what is proteolysis. Proteolysis means the breakdown of protein enamel lamellae and enamel rods which are composed of organic material form the pathway for advancing microorganism. The bacteria produces sulfuric acid which combines with calcium of hydroxyapatite crystals and destroys the inorganic component of the enamel. Next, Proteolysis Chelation Theory some of the minor flaws of acidogenic and proteolytic theories were addressed in this theory. So what is chelation? The process in which there is complexing of the metal ions to form complex substance through covalent bond which results in the formation of weakly ionized compound. So what happens? Simultaneous microbial degradation of the organic component by proteolysis and dissolution of inorganic part of the process of chelation. Next, sucrose chelation theory. So this states if very high concentration of sucrose is present in mouth, it results in the formation of calcium saturates. This complexes result in relax of release of calcium and phosphorus ions from enamel and resulting in tooth decay. Next, Levinus ionic seesaw theory. We all know there is a dynamic equilibrium being maintained between the remineralization and demineralization of enamel. Any kind of breakage of this equilibrium causes carious processes. So if you like the video, please do like, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the notification bell to never miss any videos from Accidental. Thank you for watching this video.